A man pushes with a force of 297 newtons on a big crate. What is the work done by the man if the crate A moves 8 meters in the direction he is pushing? Okay or B moves 8 meters in the opposite direction than he is pushing okay, or C if the crate does not move okay so we're going to look at those three scenarios sorry okay so let's draw our big crate so here is a large crate okay and here we have a man pushing on this crate Okay, and he is pushing it and it is moving 8 meters in that direction and the force he's applying is 297 newtons. That's not a very um, large force, it much, must not be a very large crate or there might not be a lot of friction. It doesn't matter, okay, the force he is applying is in the same direction, that 297 is in the same direction as the displacement. So what do we have? What is the work done by the man? The applied work done by the applied force over the distance. Now we know that the applied force um, only does work in the direction of motion so we need the force that is parallel to the motion but this time the whole force is parallel to the motion. Okay? Or we can simply use this formula and that force times displacement times cos of the angle between the force and the displacement. But what is that angle? Well, that angle is zero. So we've got 297 times 8 times cos of zero. And what do we get? Well, let me start with cos of zero so you can see. If I work out zero cos, the answer is simply 1. So this part of my equation is simply calculating to 1 and therefore I've got 297 times 8 times 1 so 297 times 8 in other words all I need to do is multiply the force in the direction with the directions uh, displacement and that gives me 237 uh, 2376 2376 2376 joules that is the amount of work done by the man on the crate Okay, if the crate moves in the direction that he is pushing. Now, what if it moves in the opposite direction than he is pushing? How is that possible? Well, it might be that the crate is going downhill. Okay, that's not impossible. So imagine the crate is sliding down, and this time the man is actually trying to stop it from sliding down too far. Okay, he's trying to stop this crate from sliding down. So he is applying a force in the opposite direction than the crate is moving. That's possible. So the crate is moving 8 meters downhill and the man is, is pushing with 297, 297 newtons upwards and what do we get this time? Well, the work that is applied this time by the man is the force that's applied that is parallel to the direction times cos, sorry, times the direction, displacement I mean, times cos of the angle between them. Now this time you can see if I were to put these two, the displacement and the force um, from end to end to work out the angle between them, I find that the angle between them is 180 degrees. So I get 297 times 8 times cos of 180 degrees. And now you'll see something interesting that 180 degrees, cos of that, gives me negative 1. Okay, that means my final answer will be the same as the previous answer, 2, 3, 2, 3, 7, 6, because it's the same values, but this time I'm multiplying with negative 1. So it's negative 2,376 joules. And what this means, if the answer is negative, is that the crate is actually doing work on the man. 
So one way of thinking of negative work that is being done, it is actually work being done on the object applying the force. Okay, so and that's one way of looking at it. And now what about the man applying, if we go back to our first picture or to the previous picture, doesn't really matter. Okay, here we have a man applying a force, but this time it doesn't move at all. It's not going anywhere. Obviously, in my formula, if any one of the values, whether it's force or whether it's the displacement is equal to zero, the final answer is simply zero. If an object is not moving, no force acting on it is doing any work. Okay, so that answer will simply be zero. <laughs> I should stop with that. Zero joules. Cool.